just want to be real. Then be real. That's the whole idea. I just want to share, honestly, what is it really freaking like being pregnant in a pandemic? Because I never thought I would be in this situation. And I imagine there's lots of other women who thought the same thing, who feel the same way as me, who are pregnant in a freaking pandemic. Like, it's crazy. P I P. P I P. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Shandice from Gigglezilla, and today I want to do something a little bit different. I want to talk about what it's really like to be pregnant in a pandemic. This is my personal opinion of what it has been like. It has got to be vastly different for everyone. Geographically, where you're located, that may change things. How many people are close, how many friends you have, the hospital you go to, like where your prenatal It's just got to be different for everybody, okay? I'm just gonna share what it's like for me. So if y'all don't know, we are currently six weeks pregnant and... Six weeks pregnant? See, that's why I'm glad my husband here. We are currently six months pregnant. <laughs> six months, y'all, not six weeks. Y'all see all of this going on right here in the midsection. <laughs> Anyway, okay, we're currently six months pregnant with our first child and we're super excited. Like, we just cannot wait to love this little guy and like give him endless kisses. Also, we're still in a pandemic. We got pregnant last August and maybe you knew this was gonna go on as long as it has, but I thought by now, things would have settled down quite a bit. The vaccine is out there, which is one of the things I'm concerned about. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But the main thing I'm really worried about is the external stresses that have been put on pregnant women right now that other women who have been pregnant outside of this pandemic may not have experienced. Pregnancy is supposed to be low stress, and with everything going on in the world, it has been anything but low stress. Managing stress has been really hard for me. I have actually had to stop watching the news because with all the stuff going on politically, all the stuff going on in our country racially, and then all the stuff going on with this pandemic and people getting sick and people dying and like, I don't know, it's just stressful thinking about the fact that I may get sick and what if I get COVID and what if my baby gets COVID and then what does that look like for the rest of my pregnancy and what does that look like after he's here? One of the things, and I'm gonna be honest with you, it absolutely terrifies me to think about the fact that some mothers who had COVID had to be separated from their babies for their first two weeks of life. That to me is so detrimental. Keep in mind, you guys, like you may have your own birth plan, how you foresee your birth going and your time spent with your baby. It is so important to me that I'm able to bond with my baby their first hours, moments, weeks of life because that bond you create early on will last a lifetime. So to think about not seeing or touching or holding my baby, I just, it's almost unfathomable to me and it has caused me a lot of anxiety if it wasn't for this pandemic. There may be other reasons you're separated from your child, but now you have an added reason, right? The hospital we're going to, I don't think they're separating anymore, but there have been cases where the baby's separated from the mom. That's detrimental to me. And one of the reasons I think I'm not a medical professional, obviously, but women have lowered immune systems when they're pregnant because part of that immune system is to protect your baby and to keep it alive so that your body doesn't necessarily reject it, right? And so when you have a lowered immune system, you kind of become afraid sometimes to just go outside because you don't wanna get COVID. And then of course you're wearing your mask and your social distancing. That's another part of it that's hard because you're in quarantine. Like in my mind, when I got pregnant, I would be 
surrounded by my family and my friends and by the people that I go to church with and they would all just be so happy and loving and we would be able to spend all this time together. But it's been kind of lonely to be honest with you because we're in quarantine. You know, we are distancing ourselves because pregnant women are high risk and we have the suppressed immune system while pregnant and it's just a result of being in this pandemic. Along those same lines, I am worried about being forced to take the vaccine. I hope that they don't force it on pregnant women. My opinion is that there's still a lot of unknowns and to be frank with you, I can literally only take Tylenol and Tums. But all of a sudden, this newly developed vaccine is safe for pregnant women. Like, honestly, that's confusing to me. Like, I can't take anything else. Like, I've had ridiculous heartburn and I can only take Tums for it and drink almond milk. But I can take a vaccine that they just developed like a couple months ago? Like, what? My mind can't understand that okay so add that to the list of things i'm stressed about during this pandemic you may not be like me you may be totally comfortable taking the vaccine and you're not stressed about this pandemic you're just living your best life hats off to you girl that's just not me okay i am not anti-vax i am cautious okay because i have been <sighs> let me just say this I have tried so hard during this pregnancy to do what is best for my child and to only put things in my body that I think are going to be good for him. I was obsessive the first trimester and my doula had to tell me to calm down and so did my midwife. So this just may be my personality. The same goes with this vaccine, okay? I don't wanna put anything in my body that I don't need right now and that could potentially cause harm to my baby. That's really what it boils down to. We don't know that it's best for baby and we don't know that it's best for pregnant moms or breastfeeding moms. So I will not throw caution to the wind. I will get off my soapbox now, but that is something that worries me and that really concerns me. That I wouldn't have had to worry about a year and a half ago had I got pregnant, right? Another thing that I've kind of been sad about in just kind of mourning the loss of is my ideal pregnancy. I know things won't go exactly as you planned, but I thought I'd be able to attend an in-person Lamaze birthing class. I thought I'd be able to do pregnancy yoga like with other women around me who are going through similar experiences. I thought I'd be able to join like an in-person mom and me and just share in what it's like to be pregnant and the good, the bad, the ugly. And I just haven't had that community around me. And so I'm kind of mourning the loss of that. Of course, I can do it online, right? Like they have options for it online, but if you're honest with yourself, it's just freaking like not the same as having an in-person face-to-face conversation with someone who has been where you are and is who and who is in the exact same situation as you. So that's something else that's been really challenging. In addition to that, we've opted not to have an in-person baby shower. I wasn't super gung-ho about having an in-person baby shower in here. People just like touching your belly and telling you how big you are and like giving unsolicited parenting advice. Should do a whole video on that. But anyway, I wasn't super amped about that, but I would have liked to have had the option, right? And I still could, but I would do it in fear of contracting COVID and giving that to my baby. So we opted for a virtual baby shower and that will be fine. Um, but again, another thing I wouldn't have really had to deal with if it wasn't for this pandemic. The last thing that's been really hard for me and also for my husband is that he can't be with me at all of my doctor's appointments. I have a fibroid on my uterus that has been growing and so that's been pretty scary for us because we don't know what the impacts will be when it's time for baby to come. And so just having him next to me and holding my hand and experiencing these visits with me is really important to me and I never imagined that I would be pregnant with my husband's baby and not have him with me all the time at these appointments. And so we've had to do FaceTime 
at the appointment, which is fine. It's not that big of a deal, but it's also hard for him. When my midwife told him, you can come to the 20 week appointment, the next one that you can come to is the 32 week. Like that's a pretty big gap. A lot of growth and change happens for baby in that time frame, And I want him to be there. I want him to be comfortable asking questions and seeing um, what those doctor's appointments are like. Cause this is his first baby too. And so it's been hard like having to FaceTime at doctor's appointments. And I have more doctor's appointments than usual because of the fibroids. So maybe you only have three during your whole pregnancy, but I would like him to be there. I want him to experience this. I want that support. It's not the same talking to a doctor without your partner there. If you, if it's not your husband or your boyfriend, it would still be nice if your mom could be there or your best friend or like somebody there with you to help support you because this is an emotional and physical and stressful time in your life. Having friends and family around you that love you is really important. Um, so the stuff I'm talking about is kind of specific to where I live in Washington. There are some areas that restaurants are open and they're allowing gatherings of more than five people and you can bring your husband or your partner to all of your visits. That really hasn't been the case. That hasn't been our experience since I got pregnant. It might look different for you and if you are able to have the birthing and pregnancy experience that you want. Like, I'm so happy for you. I just think that's wonderful. So if you guys have things you wanna say or you wanna share kind of what's been hard for you during this pregnancy, um, please do so. I'd love to hear it. Like I said, I feel like the community that we have right now is about this big <laughs> because we can't go and see our friends and family as much as we really want to. But yeah, let me know. All right, bye, happy baby bumping. Whatever that means, I just made that up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah.